Yo, what is up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and I got another two minute Tuesday for you. This is a tutorial series where we make something or accomplish something inside of our DAWs in under two minutes. Today, we're going to be using the brand new Volcano 3 from the one and only Fab Filter to turn white noise into a kick that sounds like this. It is action packed and the tutorial is super stacked. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I wanna do is Control Shift T to add a MIDI track. I'm gonna put it at the top just cause that's the way I like it. Jump into the instruments here, bring in operator. For oscillator one, we're gonna be using one oscillator. If I come in here to white noise, select this, then Control Shift M to add a MIDI clip and then Control B to get my pencil tool. Just add this, this is what we got. The next thing we want to do is add Fab Filter Volcano here, Volcano 3. This just came out. This is an incredible filtering plugin with so much going on. I'm looking forward to doing a more in-depth video, but let's just keep things cracking for now. If I come into the presets and come down to MIDI Triggered and choose Kick Maker, that's all set up now, but I need to trigger that with some MIDI. So what I'm going to do is Control Shift T again to add another MIDI track. I'm going to come in here, Control Shift M to add this, put in some MIDI here, bring it over, drag that out to duplicate it, and then I need to send that MIDI into the Fab Filter plugin. So here, I'm gonna go into Operator and then Volcano. And if I play this now, we've got a nasty kick. Now that kick is really long if I pull over the MIDI note, or really short if I shorten it. And it also, I'm gonna bring it around here, it also is where it is in the scale. So I like G notes. So that sounds pretty good. Let's listen to what it sounds like with some percussion. And it already sounds really good. The tutorial is pretty much over at that point, but what I can do is come into Volcano and any of these green ones will change the actual character of the kick for me. Now, obviously, that's just one of the many, many things you can do with Volcano 3 from Fab Filter. I'm just using a preset here, but I thought it was really cool. And the fact that I can set up a customizable kick drum from white noise in the matter of minutes or even seconds, rather, uh, was just absolutely phenomenal. I really wanted to share it with you. Anyway, as usual, I'm Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.